far-right nationalist Jada Franson is standing for election in Glasgow on May the 6th, which raises a dilemma for the nationalist bigoted voter. Who are you going to vote for? Jada Franson from the BFP, that's a spin-off from the British National Party, or a candidate from the SNP, the Scottish National Party? Let's compare them on racism. I mean, it really depends what kind of racism is a nationalist voter that you're into? Here's Jada talking about race. Black Muslim. Black Muslim. Black people. Muslim. Black Muslim. Black Muslim. Black Muslim. Real man them in this. And this is the SNP's Justice Minister, Hamza Youssef, talking about race. White, 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 white. I didn't say anything. Scottish nationalists also have links to ethno-fascist nationalist groups like Shawl Nan Gale, whose logo is on this banner. And these tweets sent to Majid Nawaz by SNP supporters suggest that the SNP have got some proper old-school racists in the rank and file. I think on balance, Jada still comes across as a bit more racist though. Or you could vote for me, Leo Kers, in Glasgow on May the 6th. I don't discriminate against people based on the colour of their skin. I just discriminate against people based on whether they eat food with their mouth open or they listen to music through the speaker on their phone on the bus. And how do the candidates stack up in xenophobia? Well, here's Jada walking around looting as some sort of self-styled Christian army trying to fight Muslim people as if the, the Knights Templar in the 12th century shopped at Sports Direct. And here are Scottish nationalists at the border doing dubious salutes and yelling at English people to F off. I'm not allowed to say fuck because it's a political video. And the SNP's policies specifically try and encourage parochialism amongst young people in Scotland by bribing them to stay in Scotland and study and paying their tuition fees out of taxes so they don't travel down to England and study there and like broaden their minds and see that English people aren't all wankers. So when it comes to xenophobia, on balance I'd have to say it's about a draw between the SNP and the BNP. What about criminal convictions? Well, Jada has had criminal convictions for religiously aggravated harassment breaching the Public Order Act and stirring up hatred, and she went to jail for them. SNP ministers have been investigated for breaching the ministerial code, having inappropriate relationships with underage boys, uh, fraud, sexual harassment, and uh, breaching coronavirus rules. But so far, I don't think any of them have been to jail for those things. Or you could vote for me, Leo Kers, on the Glasgow list on May the 6th. I don't have any criminal convictions, despite my repeated breaches of the hate crime bill. I mean, in fact, just the other day, I breached the hate crime bill by discriminating against somebody based on their sexuality. Because autosexuality is a recognised sexuality now. That's when somebody is attracted to themselves and has sex with themselves. And I called somebody a wanker, which technically breaches the hate crime bill and I could go to jail. And I accidentally misgendered a pansexual gender void furrican because I thought it was just a fat guy in a green wig. I'm deeply sorry and I'm taking some time away from social media to listen and to educate myself. I'm an ACPO accredited criminal intelligence analyst with decades of experience working with the police and government organisations and national security and other boring stuff. So I recognise crime legislation and understand how it can be misused. And the SNP's hate crime legislation is terrible legislation. It criminalises comedy, it criminalises private conversations in your own home, and it can be maliciously misused to smear people as racist or whatever else is a, is a bad word these days. So vote for me, Leo Kers, and the Reclaim Party in Glasgow on May the 6th and help me repeal the hate crime bill and reclaim our freedom. Would you not give everything to come back here of one shot at freedom from the hate crime bill?